Hi, I'm Dr. Ben Barron. In this video, I'm going to try to do something crazy. I'm going to try to explain the normal distribution in five minutes. The normal distribution is a fundamental concept in statistics. And statistics are vital for using data to manage people within an organization. The normal distribution is a concept that helps us figure out the probability of an outcome. For example, scores on a test, levels of employee performance, job satisfaction, etc. It's also a concept that helps us understand how much confidence we should have in a result. So the normal distribution, the normal curve, or the bell curve as it's sometimes called because it kind of looks like a bell, is simply a figure that displays a, ra a range of scores <clears throat> from very, very low scores to very, very high scores. And these scores have a few specific properties. So for example, imagine that I gave my class an exam and the mean score, the average score was 75. Let's also imagine that not only is the mean 75, but 75 is also the median and the mode. Let's imagine also that the standard deviation is equal to 10. Now if these scores are normally distributed, then this is what it'll look like. We have 75 right in the middle, that's the mean, and most scores occur around the mean. That's why the height of the curve is the highest at that point. The height of the curve at any point signifies how many occurrences are at that level. So one standard deviation above the mean would be a score of 85. Two standard deviations above the mean would be a score of 95. And going below the mean, we'd have 65 and we'd have 55. Now in a normal distribution, not only are the mean, median, and mode the same, but also the curve is symmetrical in that we could fold it in half right along this line and then we'd have the same thing on each side. It would match up perfectly. In addition, these tails at either end, these extremes that kind of go off to either end, they never actually end up touching the x-axis. They keep going out and out and out forever and ever, just with decreasing probability of an occurrence in those extreme areas. Now you may be wondering, do all distributions look like this? This nice, perfect distribution? Absolutely not. They don't. But that's the beauty of the normal distribution, is that we have fascinating examples throughout nature and science that show us that the more observations we have, the, more, the greater the sample size, the closer our distribution is going to approximate the normal distribution. And that's how we can start to look at the normal distribution and use it to determine things related to probability. Let's keep in mind that this area under the curve represents the frequency of whatever we're measuring. In this case, test scores. So let's put those back in there. We've got 75 as our mean, 85 as one standard deviation above the mean, 95 as two standard deviations, and 65 and 55. If we write those in terms of standard deviations, we have a zero, and we have plus one, plus two, and then minus one standard deviation, and minus two standard deviations. And if we think in terms of standard deviations, we can determine the probability of obtaining any particular range of scores. And that's because of the shape, the specific shape of the normal curve. And principles of calculus allow us to calculate the specific area under any part of the curve. I'm not, not going to do calculus here, but suffice it to say that in the normal distribution, about 68% of the scores fall between one standard deviation above the mean and one standard deviation below the mean. About 13.6% of the scores fall between one and two standard deviations, both on the positive and negative side. And what that tells us is that more than 95% of the scores are going to fall between negative two standard deviations and positive two standard deviations. 
Using our example of test scores, we can then see how there's less than a 5% chance of someone getting a score of higher than 95% or less than 55%. Now we can expand these concepts of the normal curve and probability to a host of other topics, most notably to the idea of statistical significance. I'll cover that in a future video. And that, my friends, is the normal distribution in five minutes. To learn more about this and other related topics, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Twitter at Ben Barron, or visit my website, www.benbarron.com. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.